My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 38 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall, be, we shall continue answering questions under variation and we are using the flash learners jam application install yours right now and begin to enjoy the app is a very amazing application packed with so much features that you enjoy install and check everything out feel free to reach out to me for questions inquiries suggestions and testimony yes it is given that a minus 2 is directly proportional to b squared so a minus 2 is directly proportional to b squared from here we know that a minus 2 is equals k b squared what are we looking for and a is 3 when b is 1 a is 3 when b is 1 a is 3 when b is equals 1. Find b, find a when b is 3. So a is question when b is equal 3. Let's look for the proportionality constant using the first values that we have. From here, a is 3. 3 minus 2 is equals k times 1 squared. That is b squared. 1 is equals k times 1. So constant is equals 1. Now that we've gotten the constant, we'll have to go back to this equation once again to look for the second value of a. That would be a minus 2 is equals constant 1 times b squared. b is now 3 times 3 squared. This is a minus 2 is equals 1 times 9 is 9. A is equals 9 plus 2. That will give you 11. So 11 option D is the correct answer. We can see that variation is so so sweet. Variation is so so interesting. And if S varies inversely as the cube root of Y, this is it. S varies inversely as the cube root of y, this is cube root of y. Cube root is different from cube. Cube root is different from cube. If I say s varies directly as the cube of y, it will be, or s varies inversely as the cube of y, it's like this. Cube is raised to the power of 3, while cube root is like this. Please take note of the differences between cube and cube root. From here, this is s is equals k over 3 root y. From here, proportionality constant k is equals s times 3 root y. And this is, they said, and s is equals 1 when y is equals 3. The first condition, s is equals 1 when y is equals 8. The second condition, find y, so we are looking for y2, when s is equals 3. So, if you are using this inverse variation formula, a1 times b1 is equals a2 times b2. From here, you will find your y so, so fast. But, let's go with this. It is your duty to choose the one that works best for you. S is when S is 1 and Y is 8. K is equals 1 times. Cube root of a number is any number you can multiply 3 times to get that number. For example, 2 times 2 times 2. 
2 times 2 4 times 2 8 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 which means the cube root of 8 is 2 so this is equals to the constant is 1 times 2 that is 2 we've gotten our constant of proportionality so to solve the other part of the equation we bring out here or here okay we bring out here again then from here we know, already know our constant and we know the value of s we are looking for y and this becomes cross multiplying s times 3 root y is equals k dividing both sides by s cube root of y is equals k over s now remember under change of subject formula that should be some episodes back i told you that to remove cube roots you look for the cube of both sides anything that has cube roots if you raise everything to the power of three cube roots will cancel and since we are dealing with equation anything that happens to one side should happen to the other side so if everything here is raised to the power of three and everything here is raised to the power of three raised to the power of three will cancel cube roots and we'll be left with y is equals k over s raised to the power of 3 which is k raised to the power of 3 over s raised to the power of 3 and what is the value of constant 2 2 over 3 over s because s2 is 3 so over 3 over 3 that is 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 8 over 3 divided by 3 is 27. So this should be your correct answer. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you found this very, very helpful. See you in the next episode.